What's going on family? Welcome back to another video. Right now I am joined with Cassidy, Michael, and Matthew as he is driving right now. We are on our way to Palladium to hit up the batting cages. And uh, yeah, I'll check in when we get there. Okay, so we just pulled up to Palladium here. I honestly remember when I used to come to this place all the time as a kid. This used to, used to be my childhood place. I would come here like every other weekend with my family. And I even remember having a birthday party here. Um, yeah, it's a really fun place. But now, you know, as we get older, I guess times change, but you know, still gonna relive it right now. So let's head inside. Yo, they changed this place. look guys I know you like it yeah so over here it starts off cage one to like three is softballs and it's under 40 miles per hour then you got cages four and five which are over in the middle here they are 45 to 60 and then supposedly over there at the far end yo Gally how how fast do they go up to back there like 70 70? Yeah, so 70 is quite fast. I think I'm just gonna take it slow and start with the 40s or under 40. And uh, yeah, Cassidy's up right now in the cage. Show him what you got, Cassidy. Hey, big hit. better on camera, eh? Alright, he's just gonna finish up here and then uh, I'm gonna head in there. not bad at all. I actually think I did a really good job. Struck out a couple times there, but um, overall it was good. This is what happened. I don't know if you can see that. Camera's not focusing, but yeah, I got a little blood, bloody hand there. Thanks Cassie for filming that. So uh, now we are going to wait until the other guys finish up with their 45 to 60. And then we're gonna give that a shot. Here they are in action. Here's Galley over here. He plays baseball, so he has the advantage. And then you got Lucci over here, killing them. Let's go, Lucci! When you move up to 45 to 60, uh, it turns into a hard ball. And over there we were at softball. So uh, I'm gonna give the softball one more go and then we're gonna move on up to the 45. Okay, so right now we're gonna do the 45 to 60. Moving on up, Cassie's gonna record it here.
Okay, so I decided to stop with the batting cages right now because my hands are really starting to hurt and uh, I still got 96 credits left. So I figured that I'm gonna use my 96 credits in the play area through the doors here. got done at Pladium. Honestly, it brought that. Seriously? <laughs> Bro. Alright, so we just finished up at Pladium and it, honestly it was an amazing time. It brought back so many childhood memories. Oh, I remember no, coming all the time. The you drive. And uh, fucking yeah, do you guys have a fun, fun time? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a little kid at a playground. <laughs> and them two were just waiting oh, for us as we were... Fuck. Playing every single game there. Go Left turns and then there's a fucking circle with a red line on it. Yo, we drove Bro, into the bus another station. Car following. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. There's another car that's questioning oh, what the fuck's bro. going on. Come on, look who's here. <laughs> you just you know the pull over to the side and <laughs> let people in. <laughs> All right, get on the bus. Your bus fare? <laughs> okay, so we ran across the street from Palladium to the shopping center square one shopping center because we wanted to obviously get chipotle and online it said that they close at 10 but we ran through the mall and turns out they close at nine so now we're gonna try with about 25 minutes left to get to the other chipotle which is near our neighborhood st Clair, st Clair. which is uh quite a ways so uh it's on hopefully we get there we made it to chipotle with time to spare let's grab our food now 
Chipotle 101, this is what you do. So you just chop up all your lettuce. And I almost cut my finger. Okay. And then you take your Chipotle bowl and you just put it in the microwave for two minutes. All right, you let that heat up and then check back in when it's done. Okay, so the bowl is done warm, warming up. Here it is. And then now over here, see, look at the bowl guys, look how big this is already and look how much volume we already have just with the lettuce. Now what we do is we just do this, simply. Chop that on there. <coughs> and then now we take lime and we just simply add some lime to it. Yeah, it's good. And then all we do, all right, let's go and mix it. We simply just mix it up. And that's pretty much it, guys. Volume. Gonna eat this up right now. Okay, so I just finished up my bowl here. And over there, the guys are playing pool. We are having a tournament tonight. So, two guys decided to join us. Faust and Odin. What up? What's up? And now over here, Lucci <coughs> is writing up the schedule for the tournament. <laughs> oh God, Winner! Catch you! Oh. you. <laughs> fucking scary! <laughs> okay, so the situation we got on the table here is Bodan is solids and he only has the black ball and Lucci is stripes and this can make or break the game. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Man, if Bodem wins, then the final three are already made, but if Lucci wins, this can mess up the whole rest of the tournament. Let's see if he can do it. Don't get it, don't get it. Make it easy, make it easy, fuck off. Oh my god. How do you feel? That here, just right? messed up the tournament. Okay, so the situation with this tournament right now is I right now have a bye and I'm waiting for the final <laughs> game. Now it is Lucci versus Galli. Now this game is gonna make or break Lucci's fate. So if Lucci wins this game, he is automatically in with Galli and myself and they have to play a, a game to see who plays me. But if Galli wins this game, then Lucci and Bodan have to play a follow-up game to see out of them to who makes it. So um, this game right here is going to be really interesting between Galli and Lucci. Let's see who wins. Guess what happened? So Lucci was down to the black ball. He called the pocket, got the black ball, sunk it into his pocket, but the white ball followed into the... Pocket. So pretty much now, Bodan and Michael are playing their game, and then Galli has to play one of the winners here, and then finally the championship game. Yeah. Oh fuck me! I lined you up. Oh my god! That pocket. Boy, don't fuck this up. Why are you getting in the way, you fucking little shit, buddy? That's such bull. Yes! You're fucking shit. No, because I should be Galley. Bodan versus Galley for fuck second and third. Back. So the finals are set. It is myself and Galley. Yo, Galley, how do you feel to be in the final? I'm in this one. I can feel it. I'm, I'm Alfredo. <laughs> how do you feel to be in the final? Oh my god. It's only time it'll happen. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's very. He's going down. Yeah. Let's get it. Right, Nick. <laughs> 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 
Did you see a roll? <laughs> Guys, final result of the tournament. I won. And Gally finished second. Which was a surprise because we thought you finished last. So, how do you feel? Oh, I mean, I usually finish last, so. So, that's good, you know? Who finished third? I voted. And Bona finished third. Faust was a dead last. Oh my god, 456? Yeah. Not at all. It was, it was a bad day today, that's bad all. Bad day, exactly. On a shit table. Alright guys, well I'm just gonna head home now. This is gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.